Online. Good afternoon. It's May the 26th, 2016. Time to recap today's trading. We came in today basically saying we're sellers if we couldn't take out the 92, 95 area. Our buy was 85, 87. And that pretty well caught the market. That was our buy zone. This was our sell zone up here. Uh, the trading was limited. We didn't have a lot of volatility to work with uh, on Nancy's tweezers right here. A scratch. This S gave you four if you traded it perfectly. Uh, another little triple quadruple bottom right here was a winner. Uh, this S, if you take it, taken it, was a scratch at best. Nancy's tweezers. Uh, this S ended up being a plus. Uh, this buy, if you took it taking out that top bar, that is a scratch at best, maybe one point here. Uh, Nancy's tweezers, scratch, retest failure, make a little, S, scratch, retest failure, make more. So again, we're really hampered by the lack of volatility and follow through buying or selling and that makes it very, very difficult to make money unless you're taking trades at the edge. And the best way I know of to take trades at the edge is off the 10 minute chart. And basically you're just buying or selling against the red line. So there's a sell that worked. Here's a buy that worked. Here's a sell that worked. Here's a buy that worked. Um, here's a sell that got you a little. Here's a buy that got you some. Here's a sell, probably a scratch. Uh, and you just, you, we really do have to go for trade location if we're going to prosper. And I, I think that's going to be the case uh, for sure starting next Tuesday on as we enter the uh, summer doldrums, as they're oft called. Okay, uh, stops above 2100 is the trading target. Didn't get there today. Uh, I've got an inside day. That means trading range. So 92 to 2105 is resistance and uh, probably 75 to 85 is support as we start out tomorrow. This screen, the F1 screen says find a expected trading range market tomorrow. The F2 screen, um, if we were to close the market right here, we'd say find a place to sell it. Okay to sell the uh, 92 95 area. So right now uh, the selling would be 89 to uh, 91. And I think we get through that. We will go to 2100 then 99 to uh, 2101 for sell too. And the tendency will be on a three day, the approach of a three day weekend is to close the market sideways to higher. And the powers that be would like to see it higher. Uh, 84, 86 by 1, 80, 82 by 2, and put all this stuff together, we're still looking at a pretty strong P. Can we have some news tomorrow? Uh, GDP is expected to be revised upward to plus 9 tenths. Deflator is going to stay the same at 7, so we're dealing with stagflation. Corporate profits. Minus 3.6%. That's not good. Consumer sentiment, 95.5. Probably reflects the stock market probably better than anything else. And Baker Hughes rig count was 448 for all of North America. I think we only lost one rig last week in America. So the focus will be uh, GDP, corporate profits, consumer sentiment. Okay, another real strong auction. We anticipated that it would be. We liked the long side when we came in this morning and treasuries. Hope that they would sell so we could buy it on the cheap. They didn't. Pretty much straight up from the opening. 
and uh, the um, auction dynamics uh, continue I mean we, we know how to play these auctions and every other week we've got one uh, so higher low higher high on the 10 year find a place to buy it and that's confirmed uh, with double distributions to the upside do an I split there's the auction uh, so the breakout from 24 last rotate down was 22 and 22 and a half so 2024 by one 17 to 13 by two on the sell side um, we're in sell territory here, so 29 to 30 sell one three to seven sell two I don't think we break it out tomorrow unless we get some help from the E-mini. Don't think they'll knock it down though either. Um, just because of the three day holiday. The tendency for uh, treasuries in the three day holidays can be either way. Uh, there's no bias built into that one like there is in indexes. Brokerage firms have to keep their customers coming back on Monday. They can't sell the uh, market off in the three day weekends, right? Don't want the brokerage firms waking up to uh, panic customers come Tuesday morning. And we laugh, but having been through that part of the industry, uh, there's some truth to that. Okay, looking at the um, 30 year, 16 to 20, 23, 27, sell one. Don't think we can break it out, 31 to 03, sell two. Uh, on the buy side, uh, support the auction started at 5, so 4 to 8, 1, so 29 to 01 by 1, and uh, 21, 25 by 2. So we don't have that protection in treasuries that you do in the stock market as you go into a holiday. Which way will gold go tomorrow? Gold is pointed lower. Okay, uh, gold rolls. I put it up uh, next Tuesday, so tomorrow afternoon we'll go from uh, the uh, June contract to the August contract. Um, actually, a higher low and a higher high. This one on F1 could trade higher if support holds early in the morning. So uh, the close of business uh, tomorrow, uh, we can roll the uh, gold to the August contract and we can roll the 30 year to the September contract. Okay, F2 pointed lower. So we're selling uh, 23s to 25s. 29 to 31. Um, 15 to 17 is support. Buy 15 to 17, buy 1. Buy 9 to 11 for buy 2 get through this 15 level right here we're headed for the buck not in one day probably although it can move that quickly <coughs> crude we made our trip up to 50 so um, crude typically consolidates for a day or two after it hits like a 40 or a 45. So I don't think that uh, have got to worry too much about a breakout tomorrow without some help from the news. This 50-50 area is the low volume number, so ideally selling against 50-50 is what we'd hope to do. Um, higher low, higher high on F1, find a place to buy it, which we would expect after today's action. Today's action is strictly AB. And typically, we, we get one to two days. So uh, right now, near support, uh, obviously, is 49. 
Uh, we had the breakout from 47, so 47.49 is where we'd anticipate some support. Uh, 49.75.50 sell one. 25.50 sell two. Uh, we'll play for a little bit lower. 48.75.49 buy one. 48 and a quarter, 48.50 buy two. And last but not least, the euro. Higher low, higher high, but you can see we're having uh, some difficulty uh, at the uh, 112.25 level. I pull back up to it, so. On the F1 screen, we can trade higher tomorrow. And the F2 screen, here we are, right there. You can just see it. 112.25 is pretty good resistance. Um, leaning B inside the congestion area. Uh, we do have that little volume spike up there at 12.15, 12.14. So, just like we were today, number two sell zone was 15 to 25, sell one, 40 to 50, sell two. On the uh, buy side, uh, 11.75, buy one, and buy two, 11.50. And that's it for this May the 26, 2000. And 16, I hope you all had a good day today. We covered a lot of ground, showed you some different ways to work the charts. Uh, showed you some different, brought in a different kind of, kind of trade in crude. We're still playing with our F6 screens. Waiting for some feedback from the field. But I, I kind of like the uh, 1 to 3 for the volume and the uh, 10 or greater as it stands right now. Rahid said uh, 9. Uh, looked a little better to him. I haven't heard back on the volume from him, nor have I um, heard back from the others. So hopefully we'll get some feedback from the other three or four people that are actively involved in crew. Y'all have a great evening. I will see you bright and early in the morning, and uh, hopefully uh, uh, the storms just bring rain and hail, no tornadoes this evening. Got a bunch of them forming around us. I'm out of here. <laughs>